The next approach might be a new one for you and a method that is so effective. And it might be the most effective of all four that I'll share. And that is to ask a favor. When you ask a favor of someone, the relationship changes immediately because you're asking them to share out of their expertise and out of their passion. And people are excited to do that. We'd moved to the country in Texas and uh, we, we were looking for a farm cat. And so we noticed right around the corner from our home, a sign that said free kittens. As we drove into that driveway, I began to wonder, does God want something more from this relationship than simply us getting a free kitten or a free cat? We knocked on the door and when they found out that we were new neighbors from around the corner, they invited us to come inside. As we got to know each other, I discovered that Jackie and Cindy were organic farmers and they sold their produce to Whole Foods and also went to markets. And so I asked him, Jackie, um, I've grown gardens before in the Northwest, but growing one in Texas, that's a different game. How do I do that? Can you give me some tips? Can you give me some advice? Well, Jackie immediately disappeared. He went out of the room and he brought back all of these seeds and he began asking, do you like okra? Do you like cantaloupe? And began giving me all of these organic seeds for my garden. Then he paused and he said, Tom, hang on. Do you have a garden area yet? And I said, no, I don't. He said, I'll bring my tractor over and I'll plow a garden for you. And so that's what he did. It was an absolutely amazing experience. And as, as we began to develop that friendship, I would go often to their farm and just walk up into the fields and visit with them. One day as I approached their fields and began walking through them, I noticed that their re retention tank for their water, the pond that they continually pumped water into and collected rainwater in, it was drying up. Texas was experiencing a drought. As I approached them in the field, they were concerned. They said, Tom, if we don't get rain soon, we're going to lose our crops. And I said, Jackie, Cindy, let's join hands right here. Let's pray to the God of heaven that he'll send you rain. It was a few weeks before I made it back to visit Jackie and Cindy again, but we continued to lift them in prayer and pray for rain. And as I walked through their fields about a month later, Jackie and Cindy were overjoyed. They said, Tom, you can stop praying for rain now. They said, in fact, we, we had so much rain and it came at just the right time that we've actually had a bumper crop. I said, you know who we need to thank for that, don't you? We need to praise the God of heaven that he sent you that rain. How did that relationship begin? By simply asking Jackie for a favor. Can you help me know how to grow a garden here in Texas? There's a biblical basis for that, and we already looked at this story. Jesus asking the woman of the well, will you give me a drink? Asking her for a favor changed that relationship, and it's absolutely a powerful way to connect with secular people.